In the distant future, Duke Leto Atrides, ruler of the planet Kaladin, is assigned by the Padisha Emperor Shaddam IV to replace Baron Vladimir Harkonnen as the fiefholder of Arrakis, a harsh desert planet and the sole source of spice, a valuable psychotropic substance that imparts heightened vitality and awareness. Spice is also key to interstellar travel giving spacing guild navigators the ability to guide starships to traverse space instantaneously and safely. Emperor Shaddam, fearful of Leto's rising power, plots for House Harkonnen to retake Arrakis, secretly aided by his Sardaukar troops, and destroy House Atrides. Leto is suspicious of the Emperor but weighs the risks against the power of controlling Arrakis and making an alliance with its mysterious natives, the Furman. Leto's concubine, Lady Jessica, is an acolyte of the Bene Gesserit, an exclusive sisterhood whose members possess advanced physical and mental abilities. As part of a centuries-long breeding program, they instructed her to bear a daughter, whose son would become the Quisitz Haderic, a Bene Gesserit and messianic superbing with the clairvoyance necessary to guide humanity to a better future. Jessica disobeyed and bore a son, Paul, who was trained by Leto's aides, Duncan Idaho, Gurney Halleck, the Suck Dr. Wellington Ue, and the Mentat Thufer Hawat, she teaches him Bene Gesserit disciplines. Paul confides in Jessica and Duncan about troubling visions of the future. The Reverend Mother and Imperial Truthsayer Gaius Helen Mohiam visits Kaladin and subjects him to a deadly Gam Jabar test to assess his humanity and impulse control, which he passes. At a secret meeting on Gidi Prime, Mohiam insists Baron Harkonnen spare Paul and Jessica in his coup, to which he duplicitously agrees. House Atrides arrives at Arakeen, the principal stronghold on Arrakis. Duncan's advance party has made contact with the Furman. The natives revere Paul and Jessica, which she explains is due to the Bene Gesserit sowing beliefs on Arrakis centuries earlier. Leto negotiates with Furman chieftain Stilger and meets the imperial judge of the change, Dr. Kynes, a planetologist who lives among the Furman. Kynes briefs them on the dangers of spice harvesting and the giant sandworms that travel under the desert and render unwise the use of protective Holtzman shields. During a flight, they rescue a stranded spice harvesting crew from a sandworm, and Paul's exposure to the spice triggers intense premonitions. An attempt to assassinate Paul with a hunter seeker fails. Yue betrays the Atrides and disables Arakin's shields, allowing the Harkonnens and Sardaukar to invade. He incapacitates Leto, planning to exchange him for his wife, who is the Baron's prisoner. Yue replaces one of Leto's teeth with a poison gas capsule with which the Duke can assassinate the Baron. After the Baron double crosses and murders Yue, Leto releases the gas, killing himself and the Baron's mentat, Peter de Vries, but the Baron survives. Though the Baron has arranged to have Paul and Jessica drop deep in the desert to die, the compassionate Yue has left them with a frumkit with survival supplies. Jessica uses a Bene Gesserit technique called, the voice, to overpower and kill their captors. Overnighting in the desert, Paul, surrounded by spice, has visions of a bloody holy war, fought across the universe in his name. After conquering Arrakis, Baron Harkonnen appoints his nephew Reuben to oversee the planet and orders him to restart spice production to recoup the invasion's cost. Meanwhile, Duncan and Kynes find Jessica and Paul, who discloses his plan to marry one of Emperor Shaddam's daughters to avert a potential civil war arising from the Emperor's betrayal. However, they are discovered by Sardaukar soldiers armed with Alaskan. Duncan sacrifices himself enabling Paul and Jessica's escape. Kynes also tries to escape but is caught and mortally wounded, and lures a sandworm to her location to devour herself and the Sardaukar. Deep in the desert, Paul and Jessica encounter Stilgers from an tribe, including Chani, the young woman from Paul's visions. Opposed to Stilgers' lenience towards them, from an warrior Jamis challenges Paul to a ritual duel to the death, which Paul wins. Despite Jessica's wishes, Paul joins the Furman, determined to fulfill his father's goal of allying, with them to bring Arrakis peace. 